Well, first of all, we have a question from Telus Avery who writes saying, why is there such a debate about who should play the next Batman? Every time I hear a name is a contender for the next Batman, it's a joke. None of these actors have extensive martial arts background. Bale's Batman was obviously no martial artist and would get his ass handed to him by Cavill's Superman. Batman is considered to be one of the top fighters in the DC universe, knowing many different fighting styles. The only logical choice I see is Scott Adams. Adkins. He has the look of Bruce Wayne and the skill of Batman. What do you think? Well, um, you you raise several important points that I myself have raised before. That that Batman needs to be a real physical presence. He needs to be a great fighter. All that kind of stuff. I mean, and Scott Adkins, the dude is a legit beast. He's huge. He's physical. He's got a great look. He is beyond a legit martial artist. He is the real deal when you're thinking about the physical prototype to play a role like Batman. And all that is great, and I'm with you on that. And look, I've gotten a lot of emails in the mailbag, on my Facebook page, on Twitter, all that kind of stuff over the past couple of weeks about a lot, a lot of people have been pushing this idea of Scott Adkins. Because he is that, he's physically, he's everything you want Batman to be. Absolutely. Here's the problem, though. You have to start with somebody who can act. Because at the end of the day, whoever's playing Batman has to do a lot more acting than they have to do action scenes. Now, I know a lot of people will say to me and have said to me, no, Scott is great in all these movies. Let's not kid ourselves. I haven't seen, look, I've seen Scott in a whole bunch of small roles. Obviously, that's what his bread and butter is because he's more of a physical presence. I have yet to see anything that comes close to convincing me that Scott Adkins can carry a major motion picture. Forget the action, forget the martial arts, put all that first aside for a second. Scott Adkins has showed me nothing yet that even comes close to suggesting he can carry a motion picture on his shoulders, especially in an iconic role like Batman. Now, I agree with you that we want the Batman to be a lot more physical, have some fighting skills, all that kind of stuff. That's what we want in the next actor. I'm included in that. But I, I like I said, the, the problem with Atkins is you got to start with the actor and then go on to the other elements. And when you're starting with the acting part, Atkins for me falls off the list right away, unfortunately. But I'm with you as far as everything that you've said. I just believe on that first most important point, he gets disqualified before we even get to the physical stuff. Dennis, am I wrong? Like, how do you see it? No, I, I totally agree with you. I mean, I haven't really seen Scott Atkins in much. I did see him in, uh, he was in Expendables too. I, I, I remember kept referring to him as like the ethnic Ben Affleck in that movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, you have to start with the acting because it's easier to get someone who can teach someone or not teach someone, someone that already can act and teach them how to do the physical stuff and use movie magic to, to cheat around to make them look like they know what they're doing versus the other way around. You can get someone that, that can do all the physical stuff, but teaching them how to act and carry a movie, that's a whole nother thing. That, that is something that you can't, you can't use movie magic to like fix. So I, in, in that regards, I also haven't seen much of his, so... I, I don't think that's a good idea. I think you start with the actor, you get that actor and build him up, make him bulky and teach him all this stuff. That's a, a better way to go than the opposite way. Yeah, see, and, and I'm, I want to get somebody, that's why I've always been a proponent of a Jason Momoa. I think he's a better actor than people give him credit for and he's got all the physical presence and he's got, now, I don't think he will because I think they're going for an older Batman now, but I love the idea of what the, the TELUS is asking, saying, look, let's get somebody who can do all these things. I agree. Let's get somebody who you don't have to teach that much to, who can already step in front of the camera and pull off this choreography and who can be physically threatening and, and, and you know, imposing. I agree with all that. It's just you got to start with the actor. And as far as the other thing that TELUS mentioned, you know, you're right. The, the way Christian Bale fought in the uh, Christopher Nolan Batman things, you think, okay, no way could he go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. But let's keep in mind, you could be Shokasagi. You could be the ultimate ninja the planet has ever seen, and you cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. It doesn't matter how good your, you know, your Taekwondo is or your Jiu-Jitsu or any of that stuff. It doesn't matter. You're fighting Superman. So <laughs> there's going to be other elements that come into play there uh, that will convince us that he can fight Superman. But yeah, just I think both of us agree can't really see Atkins as it. 
I kind of agree with you guys too, but I do I do think that he looks like a Bruce Wayne and can fight like a Batman, and I like those two aspects. Um, I haven't seen a lot of him, so don't really know if he has the ability to really pull off that role, but he has those two things going for he him. Absolutely that's for does. sure. Absolutely. 